Introduction to PCA Eigenfaces Method The PCA, commonly referred to as Use of Eigenfaces, is the technique pioneered by Kirby and Servish in 1988. In this method, there is a set of face images that make up a training set, and an unknown face image, that is the input image. Now all these face images must be the same size, that is of the same dimensions, for example, if training set images are of size 50 by 50, then the input image, the unknown face image, must also be of size 50 by 50. Now, PC eigenfaces convert each of these images into vector matrices and works on these vector forms. That is, this method does not work on images directly. It, it in fact, works on their vector forms. Now, PCA principal component analysis is used to generate k eigenfaces for a training set of m images where k is less than m. That is, if a training set consists of say 100, uh, 200, let's say 200 images, if a training set consists of 200 images, then the eigenfaces that are calculated by using PCA will be, for example, 150 we would select the most significant eigenfaces for 200 training set images. Thereby, we have reduced the number of values needed to identify an unknown face from 200 to 150. This is all thanks to PCA, which reduces dimensionality and etc. Now, since eigenfaces are in fact the principal components of the training set, and principal components depict the major features of any data set. So that means that eigenfaces, the ghost images that you see are the eigenfaces, they actually depict the major features of our training set of face images. So we can say that each face image in a training set or the input image can be said to have been made up of proportions of all these k features or eigenfaces. That means that for example an image, face image 1, is made up of 23% of eigenface 1, 2% uh, of eigenface 2, 51% uh, of eigenface 3, and so on, till the kth eigenface. We have to add all of these proportions of eigenfaces, and if, if we add them and uh, convert it back to an image, it will generate the, uh, you know, for example, the first eigenface, uh, the first image, training set image. Now, these proportions are, in fact, weights associated with each eigenface for a particular face image. So the image, in short, can be represented as a weight vector, denoting how much of which eigenface makes up this image. You see this equation written over here? If I said that face image 1 is made up of this, 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 many proportions of uh, uh, this, this, this uh, eigenface, then I can write down the eigenvector for this name image as this. Uh, 0 0.23, all those percentages have been converted to the points over here and they are the weights. Now, the weights exactly are not calculated this way, but uh, you, I think you get the idea of what I mean. Now, this is the exact goal of PCI eigenfaces method, in fact, that is to represent an image, a face image, in terms of the eigenfaces or the eigenvectors that have been derived from a training set with assigned weights. The eigenfaces are with assigned weights. So then for recognition what happens is that the weight, weight vectors of the input image and of the training set images, all of the training set images, they are compared with each other. And whatever uh, the weight, after the comparison, in whichever pair there is the lowest possible distance value that uh, for example, it is uh, the input image is closest to a uh, training set image I, for example. Then it would recognize the input image as the training set image I. It would say that this person, this unknown person, is actually person XYZ in the database. So this is the basic idea behind PCA eigenfaces. In the next tutorial, I'm going to give you with visual simple steps, I'm going to explain how it actually works. I'm not going to dive into mathematical details because if you're a beginner, I don't think that, I think it will be very, very hectic for you to just jump off into the mathematical details. So look out for the next tutorial, that is uh, level 4B and how PCA eigenfaces works. 
and thank you so much for sticking around with me and reading my tutorials and a special thanks to my regular readers. I hope you have benefited a little bit from my tutorials. Please do stop by, leave your kind comments and uh, point out any mistakes that I make in my tutorials. I'm, you're always welcome to point out and I will be always uh, liable to change, make change and correct my mistakes. Thank you so much.